Hey guys, welcome to the 148th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to overload operators. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and an item class. And inside of your item class, make sure you just have a public integer property. So basically what we're going to be doing is just adding two item objects together to create a new item object. So the user could create two item objects and then say a new item object equals those two added up. So the first step in overloading an operator is typing public static because our operator or all operators must be both public and static. Next you're going to want to type the return type for your operator. So basically what your two things will be equal to. Since we're using addition we're just going to add two items together and then return a new item. So we're just going to say item right here. Following that you're just going to want to type operator since we're going to be overloading an operator. Next, you're going to want to type the operator that you're going to be overloading. And we're going to be overloading the addition sign, so we're just going to type the addition sign right there. Now, think of this like a method. And inside of these parameters is basically what you're going to um, be adding together. And the first parameter that we're going to be typing out will be what will ever will be on the left side of our addition sign. So I'm just going to type item, and I'll call it i1, because after all, we're going to be adding two items together. And then the second parameter is whatever will be on the right side of our addition sign. So I'm just going to type item and then I'll call it i2 because we're going to be adding these two items together. All right, so once we have that all set up, we can now actually type what our operator is going to be doing. And like I said before, we're just going to be adding the two prices of the items together and then uh, returning a new item with that sum of those two items' prices. So we're just going to create a new item first and we call it item. I'll call it i3 instead of equal to a new item. And then we're going to say i3's price is equal to um, i1's price plus i2's price. So if i1's price was 1 and i2's price was 2, i3's price would be 3. And then we're just going to want to return this new item, so we're just going to want to return i3. All right, so let's test it out up here. We're just going to create a new item. I'll call it item one and set it equal to a new item. And I'll say item one's price equals four. And then I'm going to create another item. I'll call it item two, set that equal to a new item as well. And then item two's price will be mm, six. And then we're going to say item and I'll call it item 3 equals item 1 plus item 2. And since we used or overloaded this plus operator right here, it's just going to take item 1 and item 2 and add their prices together and then return a new item. So item 3 is equal to the sum of item 1 and item 2's prices. So now if we were to display item 3's price in a message box, we should get 10. Message box dot show item 3 dot price. And since it's an integer, we're going to have to convert it into a string. So we're just going to say dot 2 string. All right, so now we debug here. We should just get uh, 10 in a message box. Yep, perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.